hundred and seven. Ain't that all from Terrence Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Four hundred. Uh, I think they're all from um, DJ August. No, they broke it down. No DJ Augustine. Nick, Terrence Ross and DJ Augustine. Yeah, and Nick and Nick Vooch had like one game. He played. He played one game for Philly in the playoffs. But 417 playoff game combined. Uh, talk about the experience, man. You got Danny Green, Kawhi Leonard, Kyle Lowry. Mark Kawhi Kyle. Leonard has played more playoff games than the Magic have in the last 15 years. Yeah. Mark Gasol. <laughs> uh, like that, that, that team has so much playoff experience, man. And, uh, and they're really good. They're deep, man. Like they, This is a team that... It's too bad y'all couldn't have got the sixth seed. Yeah, I, I wanted to play the Sixers. Um, no shit. Everybody wanted to play the Sixers. Because Embiid's not going to play the first game, apparently. But yeah, The Sixers aren't all they're cracked up to be anyway. Their bench isn't deep either. Uh, Toronto's yeah. bench is really, really – Now, the thing is – Yeah, Toronto, Toronto's good. Right. Um. So, Kawhi Leonard, he, he uh, rested 20 – And I'm games. sorry for you that you got to play them. I'm, I really am. Uh, <laughs> At least you made it. <laughs> So uh, Kawhi Leonard, he had rested 22 games during the, during the season. So uh, because of low management, he's ready to go. He's ready to go. So you think he's all ready to go? <laughs> yeah, he, he he he's ready to go. He's ready to go. That 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 team is ready to go. So. And oh, I I I'm mad that y'all didn't get at least the six seed because I'd have rather y'all seen I'd rather seen y'all play. Philadelphia, because I think y'all match up way better with Philadelphia than y'all do with Toronto. Mm -hmm. So the thing, but the thing it, that's going for Orlando, just, uh, uh, well, they do come in as one of the hottest teams in the league and they go into the playoffs. They're twenty two and nine since January third. You'll get a game. You'll get a game on them. So, um, Jonathan Isaac and and Aaron Gordon defends those guys very like uh, Siakam and Kawhi Leonard. It's like do not play well against them. But what what's kill Orlando is Danny Green, Cal Lowry, Mark Gasol. Mm -hmm. Those are the yep. other guys. And then their their bench, Van, uh, Fred Van Fleet has killed him. Um, so did Toronto even admit like Danny Green had a podcast. He was like, Orlando's the least team I want to play. Of they're course. Lean. They're lean. Right now they're scary. Yeah, they're, they're yep. scary. They're lean. So um Orlando's gonna make it tough for them. I Orlando, told you, you you you'll you'll get a game. I would not be surprised if you get two. Mm-hmm. Orlando's gonna make it tough for them, but I'm just I'm just kind of glad they got there to get the experience. And plus, this this for them. What I like about this, when you go over there to the Jurassic Park, wherever they call that place, not only they got fans in in the, uh, they got fans outside. Outside, like they're playing against pretty much a whole freak. They playing against whole. They playing against Canada pretty much. They're playing against a bunch of Asian people. They're playing against Canada. So you going into this rabbit fan environment. You're pulling up. You're coming up. You're pulling up to the arena. You see fans going all the way back miles down. They're already outside yep. watching the game. You're walking up. Yep. Fans just see that you got your Orlando going. They're booing the crap out of you. Uh, so these young guys who had 33 playoffs combined as far as the Magic starters, they need to experience an environment. It's like a good. It. it is a good learning experience so, for them. I, that, definitely. So as far as the <laughs> environment, I'm glad they got this environment. I'm glad they got this environment. But the Orlando environment is going to be – y'all are excited down there. That's that's an understatement. <laughs> It'll be sold out. Y'all will show up because, you know one, Orlando – one, Orlando loves a bandwagon, so they'll show up. <laughs> I was about to say that, bro. Bro, I swear I've seen fans come out in the woodwork. I'm like, you haven't spoken about they will, magic in years. Where are you They will from? show up. Yep, they will bro. show up and show out. Have, until until they're done, and then they'll be like, "Well, I don't like them anyway." I have seen Twitter fans that haven't tweeted magic stuff in a while. Like, I'm so excited they're back. Wait a minute, I I haven't seen you tweet at all about the magic. You ain't been here in seven years. Yeah, Where'd you come exactly, from? Exactly, exactly. But this, I, listen, I, I can't say enough about this team, and I'm proud of Steve Clifford. Should be considered to be coach of the year for what he did with this team. No, he's one, done a great job. No one had predicted this team to go to the playoffs. Yeah, People lot. were predicting they was going to be last. Yes. There was teams. And lottery picks. Lottery picks. And, yep. <laughs> there, this team was was supposed to be going to lottery, get 32 wins. Um, Steve Clifford, and even at 20 and 31, it was like, oh, back to the lottery again. 
Even myself, I was like, oh, well, you know. Yeah, you were like, God oh, damn it. Yeah, so even But they got but after the All Star break, they've arguably been one of the better teams in the NBA. And Steve Clifford is 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 he's got his team got they got they get back on fast on fast break. They rebound well. They don't turn over the ball. They have an identity now as far as a defensive team. Yep. So now as far as the And off- they've got a good and they've got a good mix of young and vets. Yes. They have they have a nice mixture of young guys and veterans on that team. So they've done they they've done a really good job of adding pieces where they needed to add pieces. And your biggest pickup happened not too long ago. Yep. He even play yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got him. Not that then, guy. No, no, not uh, that guy. Oh, not the guy who oh, has oh, the play. Oh, you talking about the uh, the rookie, the old rookie of the year, Michael Carter Williams? Yeah. Exactly. He has been. <sighs> A gigantic spark plug for that team. Phenomenal, I agree. Yeah. He has been. He has been. He's been one of the best pickups I've seen them do in a while. Yeah, and uh, I was mad that nobody else looked at him. I was like, why did no one look at him? Like, yeah, I didn't know he was like. I forgot that he got waved. I'm like, wait a minute, my car. He got waved. Oh, snap. yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. uh, it was very cool, man. All right, I can talk about the match all day. What's your prediction? We know, but I think y'all get one, maybe two games. Okay. So I think it. I'll, I'll I'll go with it. Go six, but it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be tougher than people are thinking it's gonna be. Yeah. But I think it goes six. I think y'all get. I think y'all get one in or or one one on the road and one in Orlando. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if you got both of the wins in Orlando and just lost on the road. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not- Orlando's gonna be pumped. Yeah. I I I've seen I've seen them when they've been pumped. <laughs> oh, all the bandwagoners show up oh, and they're yeah. all pumped up half oh, yeah. of them don't know a god darn person on the team no but they pumped up i know mo Obama because he's in a song <laughs> yeah oh well, that's that's great for you yeah i uh before we move on yeah like i said I, when they clinch and the, the cloud was going down i literally broke down and cried man this this is such a big moment for, for me personally if anybody knows listen to the podcast i'm a huge magic fan so the big moment is when you win the title, Cortez. That's when you're supposed Listen, to cry. I know it's, it's a big moment, stuff. but seven years, bro. I couldn't. I couldn't. I I, I got humbled, bro. <laughs> I had got humbled so much. <laughs> so I've been humbled so much. I'm not going to pick this series. I'm watching as a fan. So you say <laughs> Toronto and sits. I'm not picking. I'm enjoying it. Whatever happens, happens. And uh, I'm just glad that them guys got there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I was glad for you. That's why I didn't pick on you like other people picked on you. Yes, yeah. Thank you, you jerk. I did, I told him, hey, let the man enjoy it. Let, let him enjoy it. Let I was like, let it. him enjoy it. I don't care. Just let the man enjoy it. I said, I know we ain't going to make the playoffs, so I'm going to treat way retiring and everything like they just made the finals. <laughs> I said, just, just let the man enjoy it. I was like, he, he don't get this often. So let him enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. All right. So Philly, Philadelphia, 51-31 against Brooklyn, who was 42-40. and 40. Uh, This season series was 2-2. And now there's some intrigue here because they're saying that Joe M B, who's got a sore knee, will possibly miss game one. He actually missed uh, the last five out of seven games that was left in the remaining season. This is the guy. Uh, I'm shocked. Joel Embiid was hurt. <laughs> it's a guy who's uh, got 27 points on the season, 13 rebounds on 40% shooting. Um, <clears throat> big loss of Joel Embiid, huh? but you say you're not shocked with the injury. So I'm not shocked. He's hurt. So this this team, speak about their buildup, man, as far as like Philadelphia. They made all these trades. And um, – what would you, what you think about Philly right here with, with Joe and B with this sore knee? They all right. I'm not. I'm not sold. I'm not sold on no process. No. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm not sold on no process. They have. They have who I like to call the most overrated player in the league in Ben Simmons. <laughs> you don't like Ben Simmons, man? He can't shoot. He can't shoot. Yeah, no. It's, it's... He can't shoot at all. He can't shoot free throws. He can't. He, he, he can't shoot. And he, he's not the guy that I'm going to be like. Yes, I want him as my point guard. No, 
Because when you throw the ball inbounds, you're not going to throw it to him because at the end of the game, if he gets fouled, he's going to throw up some bricks. So it, it, he's a, to me, he's just way overrated. <laughs> he can't shoot a lick. So talk about his team, Elton Brandon. He, he can't always... even shoot on a video game <laughs> if you make it perfect. <laughs> Dang it, man. <laughs> So Elton Brand may always... He didn't even shoot a three in the all... That's how you know you cannot shoot. You did not shoot a three in the All-Star game. <laughs> oh, man. That's rough, man. So, hey, Elton Brand made all these trades. He got Tobias Harris. And um, he got... I know he got some of these guys from the bench over here from a few spots. Like, I know Maravich and, and uh, James Ennis from Houston. But, you know, this this team, this starting lineup, they only played 10 games together. Simmons, Reddick, Butler, Harris, and MB. The NBA's, like I said, I don't mention he's been out for a few games. Uh, you, do you think that's going to be an impact against this Brooklyn Nets at all? Or no, because I don't think Brooklyn is is as good as everybody makes them out to be. They're 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 good, but I don't think they're as good as make them out to be. Like they can have they can have an off game here or there and still get past Brooklyn. But this team goes. This team we all know goes as Joel and B goes. So once he gets back in. You have to see how he goes along. But I think they have enough substance with the other guys that they had to get past Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. J.J. instantly plays better when Embiid plays. Give him the space. and, and uh, Oh, God, space. yeah, because he's a he's a space eater. He stretches out everybody. So that's why I say going to be. When, he, when Joel Embiid plays, he's arguably one of the better big men in the league Yeah, when he plays. But he, he, he just, he's got to play. And mind you, he's been increasing, increasing, increasing as the years go on. But you got to play, man. Yeah, you got to play. There's some things. Hey, if you got a boo boo, you got to suck it up, man. Play, <laughs> play some ball. But that that's that's and that's the big knock on him is he just he has availability. Yeah. Sometimes availability is better than your skill set. Yeah. If you're available and you're good, then you're really good. But if you're available and you're decent, then you, you're still available. That's a good part. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> not, not, really, <clears throat> not really a big believer in Brooklyn. D'Angelo Russell had a spectacular season. Uh, they they uh, got Jerry Allen. They got Allen Crabb. They got a few pieces that they got over there. Um, they just don't have enough. <laughs> uh, Spencer Dean Whitty has been playing pretty good off the bench. Uh, but, yeah, this this just, just for Brooklyn as well, too. They, they got there, but um, – yeah, I don't think with them. I they're 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 Orlando esque to me. Yeah, good you got there. Mm-hmm. Bad you about to get your eyeballs beat out. But Sweet. good you got there. Oh yeah, you good for your experience. Good for the experience, and uh, they got a lot of money going to free agency. So uh, this does well for Brooklyn, who bounced back from this whole boss. And that's happened. another thing with Orlando. We'll go back to Orlando for a sec. When Orlando, this exposure opens them up for a free agent wanting to come there mm-hmm. because there's a lot of young talent there on the cheap still yep. to where if you bring in one good guy, one real solid level two tier player that that team can take off <coughs> in a heart. <coughs> Kimber Walker. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but they, but they, but they've made their self as a, as now a good looking destination, like they were before. Yeah. And that's a good part for them. This exposure will, will get somebody's eyes and get somebody's attention. And, uh, Hell, I want Kimball Walker down there. Frick, frick you in Miami. I mean, I want him in Miami. <laughs> frick that, Miami. that. <laughs> I want them other two dudes to leave and open up us some money and bring one of them down there. Mm-hmm. Screw that shit. Nice. I like Kimball Walker. But yeah, it's a, it's a good exposure for you, for them and the Nets. Yeah. Nets get some good exposure too, especially since they got all this money to deal with. Oh yeah, it's been rumored about Kyrie and Katie coming. There's been rumors flying around. There's rumors everywhere about everybody going everywhere. We just, I'm just leaving all that mess alone. Yep. Until it happens. Uh, who you got as far as the series and wins? Uh, Philadelphia in six. Uh, I'm with you, Philly in six. Last series. Just because he beats missing. If he wouldn't have missed, it would have been five. Yeah. You got the uh, Boston Celtics against the Indiana Pacers. Boston coming in at 49-33. This is a good one. Yes, Indiana coming at 48-34. Uh, 
Uh, first of all, before we go into, you know, the pretty much players, man, talk about the job Nate McMillan has done. 